everybody and welcome back to fab 5 today in this session we are going to solve this worksheet in front of us which belongs to the sof nso nso stands for national science olympiad these were class one student and these are model test paper for 2023 and 2024 series now we will go to the first question but before going to that let me remind our viewers that if you are not a subscriber yet to our youtube channel please go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel and also do not forget to press the bell icon so that you do not miss out on any latest updates having dealt with that let us jump to the first question for today's session question number one from the logical reasoning section find the missing figures from the options which will continue the given figure pattern so this is the pattern by looking for these two missing figures obviously after triangle what are repeated this square box with two rectangles and this circle with two uh, triangles and this square box with two triangles so that is also in option b and so option b is the right answer question number two number of vertical lines or standing lines in the given figure so let us see the standing lines so this is one this is two this is three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 and 14 so there are 14 standing lines in this figure hence option c which has 14 in it is the right answer question number three which of the following is the heaviest so as you can see this is heavier that's why the uh, axis has you know a dip towards this one and then for this one this is heavier in this case this is heavier so this is heavier than this which means this is also heavier than this Okay, so there are two equations. Now, we have to find out which one is the heaviest. So, among this, I can see this is the heaviest, then this, then this. So, this cow is in option C. Hence, we will mark option C as the right answer. Question number four. If today is Sunday, then tomorrow will be dash. Options are A, Tuesday, B, Wednesday, C, Saturday, and D, Monday. If today is Sunday, obviously tomorrow will be Monday. Hence, option D is the right answer. Now, Question number 5, there are dash equal groups of 5 glasses each, so let us first group 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so this is one group, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is the another group, so there are two groups formed, hence option B which has 2 in it is the right answer. Question number 6 from the science section, Aradhya 5 years old wants to help her mother in cooking food, which of the following activities? She should perform while helping her mother in the kitchen. So these are the activities. This is washing something. Uh, this is uh, wearing some clothes on. That is the apron or the kitchen apron. This is washing some utensils. This is cutting down some hard things. And this is uh, actually using a metal ca metal can. This is opening the uh, lid of the metal metal box. Okay. So which of the following should uh, she perform while helping her mother in the kitchen. I think one and two she can do it safely because both are safe, safe activities compared to three and four. Three, uh, there is a chance of you know cutting down her fingers and also in four often metal lids are very sharp edged hence there is a chance of getting cut which is why the safest option since she is five years old which is very young is to one and two hence we will mark A which has one and two in it as the answer. Now question number seven. Ayush is drinking hot coffee as shown in the given uh, picture. Which body parts he is using to enjoy his drink? Options are A. Hands, ears, eyes, nose. Number B or option B. Hands, eyes, nose, tongue. Option C. Hands, nose, ear, and tongue. Option D. Feet, nose, ears and tongue. Correct answer is option B. Hands, eyes, nose and tongue. Question number 8, in which of the following weather conditions a fur jacket would be useful? So this is as you can see, A is rainy, B is winter hot, uh, summer hot day, C is cloudy day with winter, actually it's winter because uh, ice, ice uh, I can see there is ice <coughs> falling down. So we are looking for a fur jacket which produces warm or which produces heat in our body, hence we'll wear, we will wear it in winter season which is depicted by option C. Hence option C is the right answer. Then question number 9. Select the incorrect sentence among the four options. So option A. The moon seems to change its shape every night. Option B. The sun is much smaller than the moon. Option C. 
The sun gives us warm and light during this day. Now, and option D, the sun appears to set in the waves. Obviously, the incorrect statement is B. The sun is much smaller than the moon, which is definitely incorrect. So, option B is the right answer. Question number 10. All living things cannot stay alive and will die within dash in the absence of air. And options are A days, B hours, C minutes and D weeks. Obviously, within minutes, Animals will die because of lack of oxygen or air. Question number 11. The given picture shows a house with five rooms D, E, F and G. D, E, F, G, H. Where would you most likely do the following activities? Number one is welcome your parents. Number two is brush your teeth. Number three is rest and ship. And options are... We have categorized the options into 1, 2 and 3, this is the 1, this is the 2 and this is the 3. So as per the activities, categorization has been done. Obviously the rooms have been marked and we will follow the answers. So first one is welcome your parents. Obviously you will, work in, you will be welcoming your parents in which part of the house. This is the part that where you welcome. Then brush your teeth. Obviously you will be brushing your teeth in the bathroom. So bathroom is located in E. First one is G, then E, and finally rest and sleep. Rest and sleep should be in bedroom. Hence, I can see this is a bedroom F. So G E F, which is in option B. Hence, option B is the right answer. Question number twelve. Divya says, "Mummy, why do we wear woolen dress in winter?" Mother says, "Divya, because we feel dashed in what winter, and wearing woolen clothes makes us feel dashed." Select the correct words and fill the blanks to complete the above conversation. Options are A. Hot, warm, B. Cold, wet, C. Wet, cold and D. Cold, warm. Correct answer is D. Cold, warm. Now, question number 13. Question number 13. Study the given flowchart. Which of the following options can directly or correctly fill the empty box of the flowchart? This is the this is the flow chart coconut oil giving plants has been classified into coconut and this is mustard we have to fill in this box with the option which is correct from the option list so option list contains A for cotton B for sugarcane C for groundnut and D for maize obviously oil giving plants hence D maize is the right answer moving on to question number 14 now Moving here is called wind. When it blows strongly, it is called dash. When it blows gently, it is called dash. Options are A. Storm, breeze, B. Breeze, storm, C. Smoke, breeze, and D. Steam and storm. Correct answer is A. Storm and breeze. Now, moving on to question number 15. Question number 15. Question number 15. What is X and Y in the given rhyme about a traffic signal? X light, Y light, what do you say? I say stop here and stay. So what will be the X and Y values in this particular poem? Options are A red, yellow, B yellow, green, C green and green and number D is or option D is red and red. Obviously we are looking for stopping and staying hence option D red and red is the right answer. Question number 18. Now, which of these is obtained? Sorry, question number 16. Observe the given picture. What would this most likely result in? So, this industrial waste which is pouring down in a river. Obviously, the river animals, that is the fish, are going to be, you know, killed by this poisonous industrial waste. So, options A is saving of water. Option B is storing of water. Option C is cleaning of water. Option D is pollution of water. So this is called pollution. Hence, option D is the right answer. Question number 17. Which of the following things would not float in swimming tub filled with water? Options are A. This, uh, <coughs> this brush. Option B is a screwdriver. Option C is a pencil. And option D is both A and B. Correct answer is D. Both A and B. Question number 18. Which of these is obtained from the animal shown? This is the animal. So which of these is obtained? Options are A. Wood and chicken. B. Milk and mutton. C. Honey and wool. 
एंड डी मिल्क एंड चिकन करेक्ट आंसर इज बी मिल्क एंड मटन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन वट इज द करेक्ट फॉर वट इज करेक्ट फॉर द प्लान शोन इन द पिक्चर सो दिस इज द प्लान वी आर सींग इन द पिक्चर वट इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन आर प्रोवाइडेड ए इज इट ग्रोस अलॉन्ग द ग्राउंड बी इज इट कैन स्टैंड स्ट्रेट विदाउट अ सपोर्ट सी इट इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड टॉल प्लान एंड डी इज इट हैज अ थिक ब्राउन उडी स्टेम ऑब्वियसली ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट वन इट कैनोट स्टैंड स्ट्रेट Without a support, so there is a support given over here. As you can see, this is the stick, and the plant has climbed up around the stick from the bottom to the top. Hence, option B is the right answer. Question number twenty: We get honey and wax from the home of an insect. This home is called dash. Options are A, stable; B, shed; C, hive; and D, nest. Correct answer is C, hive. Question number twenty-one. Which of these statement is incorrect? Options are A. We get wool from animals. B. When we get tired, we should take rest. C. We should exercise on once in a month. And D. Our hands help us to hold things. Obviously, incorrect statement is C. We should exercise daily and not once in a month. Hence, C is the right answer. Question twenty two. Below are given pictures of some food items. One, two, three, four. As you can see, these are these are seeds. Do two statements are there? A, from which of these oil is obtained, and B, which of these is used to make bread. So, oil is obtained from groundnuts, as you can see, and bread is obtained from wheat. Or, so let us see the options for A and B. For A and B, options are for A, one, two, for B, two and three, for C, three and four. And for D, one and two. So I already said groundnuts and wheat. So as you can see, three is groundnuts and four is wheat. So three and four combination, which is correct, which is in option C. Then C is the right answer. Now question number twenty-three. I am a plant with tall thin stem. I give you sugar to make all things sweet. Who am I? Options are A, cardamom; B, sugar cane; C, groundnut; D, wheat. Correct answer is B, sugar cane. Question number twenty-four. Refer to the given pictures and complete the following sentence. The animal that lives in holes in ground is P, and quail lay its eggs in the home of Q. Animal that lives in small holes among all of these four animals is this one. That is number two, which is a rat, and the other one is quail lay eggs in the home of dash. Quail lay eggs in the home of crow. So that is option three. So Two and three is in option C. Hence, option C is the right answer. Now, question number twenty-five. I eat insects. I crawl on walls and have four legs. You may find me in your home. Who am I? Option C: A spider, B ant, C lizard, and D cockroach. Correct answer is C lizard. Question number twenty-six. Complete the following line by choosing the correct sequence of words. Statement is: We cannot. Eve, dash. We cannot see dash, but we can dash it. So options are A, water taste; B, air feel; C, air taste; and D, water and smell. Correct answer is B, air and feel. Question number twenty-seven. Which of the following was once a living thing? A, newspaper; B, snail; C, mango tree; D, plastic toy car. Answer is A newspaper because newspaper is made out of paper and we know paper comes from tree which would be life once we cut down the tree and process it to make paper that is dead hence option A newspaper is the right answer question number 28 which of the following is incorrect match animals sounds they make are two columns option for A lion roar B frog croak C bear growl and D pigeon moo Option D is the right answer, which is incorrect match. Question number twenty-nine: The activity performed by the boy in a given picture shows this is the boy and this is the activity he is doing. That dash A moving air has weight. B moving air is needed to move things. C moving air fills our surrounding. And D all of this. Correct answer is B moving air is needed to move things. Question number thirty. Ritu looked out of the window and saw that moon is of shape shown in figure. So this is the figure. 
सी फॉर अ डैश मून ऑप्शन फॉर ए गिबर्स बी न्यू सी क्रेसेंट एंड डी फुल करेक्ट आंसर इज ए गिबर्स क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन फ्रॉम द अचीव सेक्शन सिद्धि केप रैबिट्स इन डिफरेंट कंडीशन फॉर टू वीक्स एक्शन इन द फिगर सिलेक्ट द करेक्ट ऑप्शन रिगार्डिंग एट सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन रिगार्डिंग रैबिट पी एंड रैबिट क्यू ऑप्शन आर ए रैबिट पी विल डाई बिकॉज इट डिड नॉट गेट एयर बी रैबिट पी विल सर्वाइव बिकॉज इट गॉट फूड सी रैबिट क्यू विल डाई बिकॉज इट डिड नॉट गेट एयर एंड डी रैबिट क्यू विल सर्वाइव बिकॉज इट गॉट वॉटर ऑल्सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी रैबिट क्यू विल सर्वाइव बिकॉज इट गॉट वॉटर ऑल्सो so in this case water is not there but in this case water is there we not only need air but we also need food along with water hence option d is the right answer question 32 study the given flow chart and select the incorrect match of the letter d e or f and the plant so this is the types of plants tree, tree trees neem shrubs is q herbs is mint climbers is six and creepers is 7 or d e f in our case so a option a options are a d hibiscus b e watermelon c f pumpkin and d d rose correct answer is b e watermelon which is the incorrect match now question number 33 refer to the given word grid which of the following animals is not hidden in this grid so we have gone ahead and marked some of the letters of the animals name we have found over here for example as you can see we have marked over here elephant this is rat and this is turkey now the options are a animal with big ears and white tusk obviously elephant fits into that question option b largest anim animal on earth which is whale then option c small animal that lives in holes in our houses and nibbles on our cloth that is rat this is rat option d a flightless bird a flightless bird is turkey so a c and d are available in this group but b whale is not there hence we will mark b as the right answer question number 34 which of the following statement is correct regarding the object shown in the picture as you can see we have blade scissors in a frag okay and a book okay a options are a you should not play with these objects because they burn they can burn your fingers option b you should not play with these objects as they can cut your hand option c you should not play with these objects as they can hurt you option d you should not play with these objects as they can give you electric shock so correct answer is option c you should not play with these objects as they can hurt you Question number thirty-five. The last question for today's worksheet: Which of the following is a correct match? And there are three columns, as you can see in front of us. We have air component, source of that component, and the effect or the role of that component in our life. So, first one, option A. For air component, we have oxygen. For source, we have plants. For effect and role, we have needed for putting out fire. Now, option B. for air component we have smoke for source component we have wind mills for effect and roll we have makes the air dirty next option c for air component we have germs for source we have sunlight and for effect and roll we have makes us fall ill and finally option d for air component it has water vapors for source component we it has rivers lakes and seas etc and for effect or role component it does form tiny drops of water on cooling surface correct answer is option d that is for air component water vapors for source we have rivers lakes and seas and for effect and role we have form tiny drops of water on cooling surface and with that we complete this 35 question session of national science volunteer for ss organization which is a model test paper for 2023 2024 session please practice this as we will shortly upload them in our youtube channel please subscribe to our youtube channel 
press the bell icon and with that we'll take our leave we'll meet another day with another interesting video till then have a great day goodbye